In this video, I'll show you my favorite Firefox extensions. To get to the store where you can get the extensions, you type Firefox store and then click on add-ons for Firefox. You can then search uh, for the extension. The first one is uBlock Origin and not just uBlock. It's an ad blocker free and open source which lets you block ads on websites and you have an interface which you can disable per site basis and also block uh, elements like videos, uh, fonts and JavaScript. Uh, Umatrix complements Adblock and lets you have a fine-grained control over what uh, ads and domains are blocked. You can click on the, each domain and block it or each element and uh, or allow it. Imagus lets you expand view pop-up images when you hover over an image and it's really handy for browsing so you don't have to open up a new tab to op view on an image. Bitwarden uh, is a free and open source password manager which lets you store all your passwords if you're not already doing so in a password manager it's a really convenient way to manage all your passwords all you have to do is remember one good password and it lets you generate and store uh, as many passwords as you want for each website. And also, it is really convenient for when you're browsing, you can just click on it and uh, autofill whatever website you have an account on. You can also store notes and credit cards. Dark Reader lets you have uh, websites turn into a bla dark background or black background and you can also customize it per site basis. If website is lo doesn't look as you want, you can also disable per website. Sidebar, which lets uh, the browser have this tree style tabs or a list view of tabs. And I also hid the top, uh, the standard top bar for tabs through a tweaks I'll be doing in a vid new video and this lets you organize tabs much easier you can drag and drop tabs you can hide tab groups the top tabs you can uh, make a new tab right here uh, you can see the titles of the tabs much easier and you have bookmarks right here on the top and you can also customize it very much it has a lot of options and it also has snapshots uh, which is basically like uh, it takes like this layout and it saves it for later in case you accidentally close it or if you want to transfer uh, br to a different browser or computer and sponsor block uh, lets you skip in video ads on youtube so if you have a sponsor you can skip out it will auto skip the video if other people marked it and on popular videos a lot of people usually mark and you can also skip intros and outros so you waste less time LibreDirect lets you redirect a website like YouTube and Reddit to other and Twitter and Instagram and here's the other websites uh, to privacy respecting uh, s websites for example if I go to Reddit, it redirects me to a website hosted by someone else which doesn't have ads or tracking. But it's basically Reddit. So you can see, and with this um, Imagus, you can see a pop up of the image. Link Clump lets you download a lot of links at the same time. Uh, you can select the links. Uh, if you hold Z and then click left mouse and then drag, you can select all of these links or whatever links you have on the website and then you can download. You can download uh, YouTube videos by getting the links and you can paste the links into, it pastes the title of the link and the URL into your favorite download manager. I use jdownloader2 
and let you download videos from YouTube and other websites and also other file types besides videos like pictures and archives. Next is Improve YouTube, open source for YouTube, it's a pretty long name. It lets you customize the appearance of YouTube, such as back, black background. Um, in the bottom player, set uh, a bunch of options shortcuts keyboard shortcuts and also the appearance like you can hide the header you can make it hover only uh, you can hide the sidebar comments or auto expand details clear urls uh, removes the tracking from the url to reduce tracking like there a lot of urls have uh, embedded tracking on it Read aloud lets you read websites uh, text using text to speech, so you don't have to look at the con uh, long text uh, a lot of times. Uh, there's also a nice uh, Android extension, or I mean the uh, app that lets you read uh, books te using text to speech, and you can also make uh, audio files, audio books using the te translation from text to speech. I'll be doing a video on it uh, later. Privacy Badger helps with the tracking. It's a complement to uBlock Origin. Gesturefy lets you make gestures with your mouse by holding down the right mouse button and then making a gesture and it maps to a certain function like a reload tab or switch tabs. And it also can be very customizable. Single file, you can make, you can save an offline version of a website or a web page. Uh, and then view it later as an HTML file. Like for example, this Wikipedia page, you can save it to view later. And that's all for this video. I'll be making a lot more videos. Uh, I'm using Linux, so I'll be reviewing that. And I have a whole bunch of apps that I like to use on Linux. And Windows also, uh, there's a chocolatey store. Uh, it's like a package manager, it's like a store for free apps and it may lets you install apps much e easier than by going on the websites and downloading extensions or executables. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a good day.